Well, the first thing you learn in politics is that if they're taking shots at you, they're paying attention to you. So thank you, Matt, for your compliment. Um, and, and I do agree with Matt. I think Minnesotans have a clear and compelling choice this year for governor of Minnesota. But the choice isn't what has been framed here. The choice is between do we want to continue the same political divisive fights of the last eight years or do we want a new approach for the future? Do we want to move four years forward based on reform, based on energy, based on excitement, based on innovation, based on min making Minnesota great again? Look at politics today. Politics today is all about driving wedges. And the politicians have been very, very successful. We've got 20% over here who say, get rid of government altogether. And we've got 20% over here that says, don't worry, we can solve all of our problems if we just tax the wealthy. And there are 60% in the middle saying, pay attention to me. Give me some credibility. Give me some respect. I can be part of the solutions but I'm not going to stand up if, if the risk of standing up is being attacked by the 20% here or the 20% there. That's the leadership that I bring, a willingness, an ability, a commitment to engage that 60%, to get past the politics of divisiveness, and to build a future based on reforming, on doing things better and smarter. And that reform agenda is based on a couple of key premises. We need to make investments. We need to invest in research at the University of Minnesota, in innovation, in education, in the kinds of things that build a smart future. We need to make an investment in our infrastructure, yes, in energy, but in also ultra-high-speed broadband for the whole state, in those kinds of, of resources. And mostly, we need to invest in people. We have 200,000 Minnesotans out of jobs and thousands more underemployed. That has to be the priority for the next governor of Minnesota to get Minnesota working and to make Minnesota great again. Thank you, Mr. Hahn.